Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring in our top left hand side of Habit Habitation Station. Oh my goodness, Habitualization Station. Habitation Station is Ninja Duck Bob, our uh, platinum level Zerg. He's our green platinum level Zerg. And our orange trunks is Velity. Velity? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have to go with Vel or just. I'll try Velity. Maybe Vel Velity is our orange Zerg in the top right hand side. Also, Platinum League. He was gold for the longest time and now he's moved up to Platinum. Uh, both of these people are part of SFP, which stands for StarCraft II Forum Posters Clan, uh, which is pretty neat. I, I guess it's a clan strictly designed for you could play against other people. Um, I'm looking at their roster right now and they have absolutely every league represented. It's pretty neat. They've got it all the way up to Masters. No Grand Masters just yet, but they've got a handful of Masters, a lot of Diamond players, and just the middling uh, row for the ranks. And so it's, it's neat. I, I really like, I think that's my favorite type of clan uh, where you can just get together, just play the game, just get better at the game by versing each other. And then uh, you don't really have to worry about clan wars. You don't have to worry about showing up on a specific time or date. It's neat. I like that type of clan a lot. I also love ZVZ because it's incredibly exciting, especially with uh, Habitation Station having these gold bases really just ripe for the picking. I despise this map because of this right here. It's such a de deceptively small choke. It looks, it looks small. It plays like it's big because you don't, you can't do, you know, you can't block it off with two queens. You can't block it off with three queens. You can't, you can't hold this ramp. It's, it's, uh, it's very obnoxious to me as a Zerg player. Uh, we do see a good timing around the uh, spawning pool. Everybody being very respectful. 15 pool for both of them. No early hatch or anything like that. We do see the gas coming down for, uh, Velti, Veletti. Is it Veletti? I'll go with Valetti. I'll go with Valetti. Ninja Duck Bob's finishing up his own gas, and both of them are starting to accumulate the necessary amount of Vespine just so they can get out that speed early on. I mean, Hab Habitation Station is not the biggest map in the world, and with this uh, Zelnaga Watchtower just kind of in the middle of things, it can really cut down on the rush distance, meaning that you have a lot of early warning, especially if you can, you know, spare the, the control of one Zergling just to hold it. You can see whenever the rush is coming, so both players are wanting to rush towards that speed, and in fact, that Valetti's starting up his right now hopefully hopefully he's going to be thinking about getting a uh, expansion sooner or later we can see that ninja duck bob with 400 minerals saved up right now almost five is finally moving his drone down into the natural just to throw it down remember this is platinum level play so we're going to be seeing some really tight build orders really nice execution um however some minor hiccups i'm sure i mean we can see that the overlord from ninja duck bob has even gone in to see the opponent's base yet no he hasn't no drone scouting, no nothing. Uh, really want to make sure that you can see the gas timing, see maybe there's a Baneling Nest coming on. But no, this is an Evo Chamber, as well as some hidden... No, no probably not hidden, probably just misrallied uh, Zerglings underneath that Overlord. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's exactly where he's rallying them, is off to the north side of things. Really want to be active with those Zerglings. Get in there, see that the hatchery is going down, see that Valetti is behind uh, one base. On the other side of things, maybe he's being clever, maybe he's being sneaky, maybe he's uh, hiding his Zerglings up there. He's getting that plus one carapace. Making it so they're a little bit more robust, especially against the Bane Lane hits. Uh, and Ninja Buck Bob is continuing to harvest his gas three at a time. And we can see that the drone is just, oh, cantankerous for Valetti. Moving in there, seeing exactly what's going on. Seeing that that gas geyser is being uh, mined heavily. You know, if I were to see that, I would think that, you know, especially with the wiggling of the uh, metabolic boost coming along, maybe I'd be thinking about a Bane Lane bust. And with that plus one armor, I'd be feeling kind of secure. Instead, we can see that the Roach Warren is coming down. So Ninja Duck Bob is thinking about about being aggressive i wouldn't be surprised to see him grab another gas in a handful of seconds and then just power drones up get this natural nice and saturated forego the gas here and push forward with a nice heavy maybe six roach timing yeah i guess with the six roach timing you don't really need a second gas especially with the amount of gas already saved up by ninja duck bob but i'd love to see a layer behind that which is why i want that second gas but regardless this is this is ninja duck bob show not mine so valetti has his speed out i really want him to see a little bit more aggressive with his scattering and yeah fantastic he is moving that out oh wow we've got observers that's cool I wonder, I wonder if this is like for a, a tournament or something that they had. That'd be that'd be really, really neat. Valetti is going to be moving in here just to see exactly what's going on with that natural. Always going to be seeing he's a queen. Uh, probably nothing more. I wouldn't be surprised. He's not going to be able to get up to the top. Oh, and the roaches just barely, barely go unscattered. Oh, these guys popped out, though, right as those Zerglings were dying. I wonder if Valetti was there to see it actually go down. Only time will tell. I'd love to see some spine crawlers being thrown up here uh, back at home just to defend that. But with that natural being completed, Valetti knows that he really can't 
can't afford to cut a lot of corners. He needs to get out a lot of ground forces, make it so that he can actually deal with this roach push that's coming out. There goes the six roach rush, just like I was talking about. He did he did forego that uh, that other Vespin geyser. We can see that, that his tech is very you know stagnant right now because of that. But he's still got plenty of gas left over, with plenty of time to throw it down. There goes the spine crawlers. Absolutely fantastic for Valetti. Uh, he won't have enough time to actually get them out before these roaches hit his front door. However, that's what the Zerglings are there for, pushing for it. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. You need to back off. Back off, Valetti. Back off. No. <laughs> He's pushing for it. He's going to be losing a lot. All of these roaches are going to be cut down. Uh, what Valetti could have done in order to save a lot of these Zerglings from being cut down is just to push forward, make it so Ninja Duck Bob retreats, and then pull back because all you need to do is buy time for these spine crawlers to, to finish up. Uh, Ninja Duck Bob without a bangling nest back at home without a numerical superiority isn't going to be able to break this. Second he sees those spine crawlers, he turns around and notes the fact home. Uh, yeah, so this is this push is absolutely done. Ninja Duck Bob has plenty of gas left over. Has he elected to spend it on anything besides roaches? No, he has not. The Zerglings going down to the south side, probably going to be swinging around to the uh, west and is going to be pushing in here, trying to take down the saturation at the natural. However, the natural is completely unsaturated. And Ninja Duck Bob, sensing weakness, pushes in here. And now the spine crawlers are completely exposed. But what's this? The Zerglings arrive home. The cavalry comes in from the south side with an excellent flank. Cuts down these roaches down into bite-sized chunks for the spine crawler. Just 32 health away from being cut down. But that artillery is just absolutely a saving grace. Those roaches get cut down and Valetti holds. And Valetti holds with the numerical superiority in harvester count. No, wow. 20 over 20. Ninja Duck Bob, despite his uh, rather paltry uh, use of that natural expansion, is is ahead in uh, Harvester Count as well. Wow, mineral income. Oh my goodness. Valetti just a little bit behind uh, in pretty much everything. Uh, he had that plus one carapace is paying for its weight in gold, but with these roaches kind of s uh, hugging the, the corner there, no, much better surround this time. They are going to go down. Far more cost-effective engagement for Valetti. However, Valetti, he's, uh, he, I mean, he was behind on Harvesters. He's still behind on Harvesters. He's having to pour in a lot of the minerals that he wished he could spend on drones into static defenses. However, Ninja Duck Bob kind of waiting for the time being, pulling his drones? No, no, no. It's just moving his drones incorrectly, trying to build up some static defenses, sensing that there is going to be some sort of a counter-aggression, just seeing the sheer number of Zerglings back at home. But no, I think Valetti just wants to build up his own defenses, kind of wait this out. He has his own natural up. He's not too far behind, economically speaking. 18 over 33 harvesters. Oh my goodness. That's actually really, really bad. Valetti really needs to get those drones out, especially with a huge swell of drones coming out from Ninja Duck Bob. He is getting that second uh, gas. He is throwing down that lair. It hopefully, hopefully, he's going to be working on some of the upgrades for his uh, his roaches, not just from the Evo Chamber, which is starting on that plus one carapace. Catch up on those upgrades uh, from Valetti, but also also so that he can actually get the speed out for those roaches. But we can see the Roach Warren is down and out for uh, Valetti. So he's getting his own roaches out. He's going to be counter, uh, kind of using this counter aggression too. So the uh, Queens really aren't working on their... Uh Creep spread, you know, it's a double-edged sword, especially whenever your opponent's already fielding roaches and you have the speed uh, speed advantage with your Zerglings. But now that the roaches are out themselves and the, the game is starting to progress, Valetti's probably thinking about grabbing a third, hopefully going to catch up on that drone count. What are we at? 21 over 40. Oh, my goodness. And we can just see that that's reflected in the sheer amount of minerals that are saved up right now for Ninja Nook. Ninja Duck Bob. <laughs> Ninja Duck Bob is an awesome name. This is going to be an impossible nut to crack, especially with just Zerglings. He sees it. Five spine crawlers just going to town on those Zerglings and forcing them to just retreat with a tail between their legs. 59 over 52 uh, uh, supply right now, but the majority of that is eaten up in these useless roaches. Those roaches aren't going to do anything except for supply Valetti with just a little bit of uh, peace of mind. But man, this right here is just worlds away from this. Oh man, I'm wrong every single time. I just assume that Valetti has a drone count of one thing or another. I mean, he skyrocketed up to almost 30, really cut that uh, drone deficit in half, especially with five more drones on the way. So Valetti is finally catching up. In fact, he's tapped all four of his geysers. He's working on his lair of his own uh, and a spire coming out for Ninja Duck Bob. Ninja Duck Bob has 600 gas saved up. That's six mutilists that can pop out as soon as that spire is done. It is halfway done right now. It is probably going to go completely unscattered because the over is a bit out of position in order to uh, to scout it out. Good, nice, nice that the creep spread is starting. Uh, that creep spread means that the queen's going to be able to. Uh intercept that overload especially oh wow oh, oh, it starts to it starts to move in right away and ninja duck bob is aware so will this overlord no it probably won't get within range of that spire especially considering the fact that it's already in half health is just too far away spore crawler finishes off to boot but you know what that's suspicious why do you have spore crawlers there 
Uh, why do you have, you know, what are you worried about? Well, he's worried about scouting. We have the Hydralisk Den coming down and Infestor Pit 2. Oh, wow. Is that Infestor Pit for Infestors or is it, you know, going to be for the Hive Tech coming out? I wonder. Only time will tell. Both of which would be very useful against these uh, these Mutalisks. I mean, I'd love to see some fungal growths, growths coming down on the Mutalisk chunks that are coming out. Four Mutalisks on the production tab. Oh, I wonder why he's not making more. Okay, now we go with seven. Yeah, he's blowing through that gas right and left with only two bases, only four gas. He's got quite a lot. Now, this is going to be a sheer race. These Mutalisks are going to be very effective at taking down these 1-1 one -one Roaches, and these Roaches are going to be very effective taking down this wall. Yeah, those Spine Crawlers are going to do extra damage, but at the end of the day, that's more Roaches than you need to actually take this down, especially with Glue Reconstitution coming out. Those Roaches are going to be very, very fast. The Mutalisks need to intercept now and start to shell down damage on this uh, anti-air free army. I mean, there's no Hydralisks here. There's nothing to stop them. Muscular Augments are coming out, so those Hydralisks will be very uh, advantageous whenever they actually get out on the field, but for this push, there's none there. The Mutalisks expose themselves to those Roaches just to show that they are there, and with that, Nunge Duck Bog retreats. Um, I don't know. This Mutalisk count is going to get to a very, very scary number, and we don't see any Hydralisks on the production tab. Do we have any of them out on the field at all? No. 20 roaches. That's a lot of roaches, but we don't see any static defenses. Uh, they are being built, but there's none up right now. It looks like they're going to finish shortly before these hydralisks actually show up. And with only eight hydralisks, that's not enough to break the three spores that are going to be finishing in just a handful of seconds. The queen might go down. One spore is done. One mutilisk does go down. The queen falls. Uh, a handful of pop shots back at those mutilisks, but one queen for one mutilisk. Uh, nobody really comes out on top of that one. However, muscular augments almost done. And with that, these uh, Hydralisks are going to be very, very scary whenever they do pop out. It's been scouted, so he knows that there's really no good area for these Mutalisks to actually do damage to Valetti. Uh, however, those those Hydralisks are going to be able to do a hell of a lot of damage for the inevitable push. I mean, when Valetti wants to move out, he's going to be able to move out with mobile anti-air and an incredibly robust army. Yeah, one of the Hydralisks do get picked off. A couple of these Overlords being mismicroed are going to go down, but the Hydralisks are going to be pushing forward with a lot of Roaches there to soak up the... Uh, the um uh, glaive worms from uh, bouncing attack from those mutalisks. So overall, I mean, Vladi is not in the worst shape in the world, <laughs> which is a terrible thing to say. Uh, but he's still got the harvester disadvantage. He was behind economically speaking f ever since that first push. We have a lot, uh, just a metric butt ton of roaches coming out from Ninja Duck Bob. Almost thirty, almost thirty roaches. However, but with twenty and six hydralisks, uh, I don't know. Especially with the defender's advantage, Valetti could certainly hold this if he pushes out and decides to meet him in midfield. Game over. But with the pathogen glands almost finishing up, the uh, infestors will be able to fungal growth handfuls of these roaches, take them out of the action, fungal growth, and hopefully catch some of these mutalisks, take them completely out of the action. And with that, uh, all of a sudden, Valetti would have a mass advantage. We do see the longevity upgrade for the locust. Not, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, swarm hosts just in general. And in this matchup, I don't know if Valetti can afford to get them out. They're so expensive. You really need a three-base economy in order to justify getting them out in numbers that could actually deal with a roach swell of this size. And then with Ninja Duck Bob getting his third out, even though there's a third coming out from Valetti, uh, Valetti's got a ticking time bomb. You know, these Hydralisks are going to keep pecking at the, uh, the Hydralisk and Roach army, forcing him to retreat, forcing him to stay kind of cramped here. And then the second he tries to build anything up here, that's going to signal for the Roaches to move out. And in fact, the Roaches do move out, even though I don't believe he scouted that third. He has not. He's just seen that this army is, is, is getting getting frisky, getting kind of getting ready to move out. And those Roaches are kind of exposing themselves. These Hydralisks really need to be protected. Oh no, a lot of them are too far forward. We see this nice concave forming for Ninja Duck Bob, and Valetti realizes that he's going to have to retreat back into the choke, whereas Hydralisks can do the most damage possible. The Mutalisks really kind of a moot point at this point. Oh my goodness, you really want to retreat those Overlords. You cannot afford to get supply blocked right now. Valetti needs to push forward in this choke. Wow, really good engagement for him for the time being, but Ninja Duck Bob realizing he needs to get more surface area on his Roaches, pushes forward Will the upgrades, oh, it, what are the upgrades? 1-1 one, one for both players, but with the speed uh, boost for both the Roaches and the Hydralisk, Valetti does have, a, is being very, very cost-effective. Oh, man, look at this. Moving forward, making his Hydras just shell down so much damage. It looks like Valetti is coming out on top of this Ninja Duck Bob, even though he had the numerical superiority. The Defender's advantage, the static defenses, the Hydralisks shelling down just an extra DPS just turns out to be too much for Ninja Duck Bob. Oh, man, Valetti is pushing forward with this Doom 
Vanguard, and what does he have to do to deal with back at home? Handful of roaches, handful of zerglings on the production tab, a lot of static defenses, but you know what? Those static defenses are not going to protect this third. Uh, Valetti is going to be able to sack this third if he wants to, uh, as long as he's aware of it. I don't think he's aware that it's actually there yet, but he might assume. I mean, he's got his own up, those Hydralisks paying for their weight in gold by taking down a handful of these Mutalisks, but whoa, whoa, look at all these Mutalisks. They do take down those... Uh, <laughs> those hydralisks like no one else's business the roaches are going to be able to get this hatchery i believe i mean there's just no upgrades on these mutalisks oh, plus one on this these uh, mutalisks that's still not enough to save the hatchery and these roaches will be able to limp back home a nice overall win i mean i would say that it's a net positive for valetti yeah he lost his roaches yeah he lost all of his hydralisks however he bought enough time to get his swarm host out like i said they're expensive units and uh, you need time and that's what he was doing he was buying time oh five Five swarm hosts, two more on the production tab. Oh, six of them. Is that all he's got? Six, six, seven, eight of them. Uh, once these two pop out, he needs more hydralisks. I would start to add hydralisks in uh, instead of roaches, as well as uh, a lot of static defenses. Throwing down a lot of those spore crawlers, knowing that these uh, mutalisks are really going to be a pain in his side. Checking out the gold base. Nope, it's not there. It's down to the south, just like you did. Uh, and it looks like these locusts are just going to be rallied across the map. Um, Really, I don't believe that there's enough Zerglings, enough Roaches to break the Swarm Hosts. However, there's no Hydralisks there to protect the Swarm Hosts, so they're going to have to stay very, very close to these uh, Spore Crawlers. And remember that Ninja Duck Bob is going to have to start to field a detection. He's going to have to get out some Overseers, which is just an extra uh, amount of uh, uh, Micro for this Platinum level player. And I mean, that might be just a little bit... Uh, too much for him to realize in the heat of this moment these roaches are going to be pushing and are going to be shelling down a hell of a lot of damage from these locusts and the roaches are there for the engage also as these locusts start to expire i mean they're they're more than halfway done at the time being the mutilists forced to just stand by because they see that the sheer amount of spore crawlers in the area is just too much however at the same time ninja bob is getting out his third uh and he does have you know he's got a good economy back at home 45 over 47 yeah the economy is in the favor of valetti uh but he's got good tech he's got that spot Fire out those mutilists are going to make it so that Valetti really can't afford to move at any time. He's going to need a ridiculous amount of hydralisks to actually deal with the 11 mutilists that are out on the field right now. We don't see any hydralisks being constructed at all. In fact, uh, Valetti is doubling down on his swarm host production right now, and that means that. If he gets frisky, if Valetti wants to move out with these swarm hosts, he's going to have to do it in an incredibly, <laughs> yeah, yes, correct. And he's got to do it in an incredibly slow fashion because he can't, uh, he can't really afford to risk these expensive, expensive units to the counterattack potential uh, presented by these mutilisks. So. Uh, overall, we're at a bit of a standstill for the time being. Ninja Duck Bob is probably scratching his head. You really can't afford to attack anywhere. The, the main's totally mined out, but you still have a lot of spore crawlers in that area just to protect them. Uh, Valetti showing no signs that he wants to go up on Hive Tech. Really just wants to max out on these swarm hosts and really needs to get out. I feel very strongly that he's missing out on these Hydralisks. He invested a lot of money into them, uh, into their muscular augments. He could be more aggressive if he got the uh, the mobile anti-air that's represented by them. Uh, on the other side of things, you know, Zerglings can run circles around these swarm hosts, and there's only one or two avenues that these swarm hosts can protect at one or, one or two times. The drone moving out from Ninja Duck Bob, getting out the Ninja expansions, living up to his names. I absolutely love it. What is Ninja Duck Bob spending his money on? Nothing, actually. He's got a huge, huge bank right now. He is working on his hive upgrade, uh, but what is he What is he trying to get? Is he going up to Brood Wars? I mean, he's got his Spire. He is working on that plus two, which is probably going to be finishing shortly after that hive. Uh, he could switch over to the Greater Spire and get out those Brood Lords, and with that, he already has, yeah, there goes the second Spire. Awesome. I like, I can see where his head's at. I like it. Uh, it's going to be expensive, and I, I agree with the extra upgrades. However, it's also going to be expensive in time, which is time he probably doesn't have for very much longer. He hasn't been getting out more and more mutilists. He still only has out the nine or so, what is it, 11? Yeah, 11 mutilists that he's got right now. Uh, that's going to be enough to hold back these roaches, but definitely not enough to hold back these swarm hosts whenever Valetti wants to move out. And I don't think that there's any overseers that have been made for either player right now. Yeah, so unless uh, Valetti gets too close to the... Spore crawlers back at home. Uh, there's no reason for his swarm host ever to be spotted. So Ninja Duck Bob is going to have to either be more threatening with his mutilists to keep uh, Valetti contained, or as Valetti slowly approaches max supply. Yes, he's getting out those hydralisks. Awesome. He's getting out that mobile anti-air, which signals to me that Valetti is going to be more and more aggressive. However, Ninja Duck Bob is is he's a ticking time bomb. He's got 3k minerals, 2k gas. 
uh, Greater Spire is going to be starting very, very soon, I assume. Probably going to be starting that Greater Spire on the second Spire, just because the sheer amount of time it's going to take for the uh, the plus two weapons to actually finish the Spire. Number two is done. Where did he build that? Okay, yeah. Spire number two is done. This is going to become a Greater Spire. I really, really hope. Corruptors are coming out. Uh, but again, he needs to make that into a Greater Spire. Awesome. There it goes. Great. Greater Spire's coming out. Uh, 21 Corruptors on the production tab right now. Those Corruptors are going to immediately become Broodlords. However, 21 Corruptors, that's probably too much. He did blow through the majority of his uh, bank right now, which means... That <laughs> I love it. Which means that he's not going to have enough money to immediately morph all of them into Broodlords. Yeah, obviously he'll want to keep a handful of them as Corruptors so that if there is a counter-initiation with Mutalisks, you know, as the form of the anti-air... Um, you know, obviously, that, that's something that you, you need to consider. But uh, he's got Mutalisks. He could probably handle all of them into Broodlords and, and still have a healthy handle on the uh, the air advantage. We do see a Spire coming out for Valetti, so he will have some sort of counter-initiation potential uh, on these Broodlords. However, I mean, this is Habitation Station. There's a lot of high ground for those Broodlords to abuse. Uh, and, you know, this is just a massive bank already built up for Ninja Duck Bob. Where did those corruptors go oh man this is gonna be awesome i can't wait for all of these to morph into brood lords uh, as soon as I, I believe that greater spire is done yeah yeah it is the greater spire is not done okay there it goes that's weird that it... Oh, it does show up on the production tab. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Greater Spire is done, and with it goes the Broodlords. Absolutely fantastic. We see 10 of them on the production tab right now, which is going to be more than enough to handle all of these uh, swarm hosts. However, wow, we've got the Infestors out. We've got the Hydralisks out. The potential is there. Valetti could get underneath these guys, could do a lot of damage, uh, but I would say that the advantage now is in Ninja, Ninja Duck Bob's uh, corner. Valetti had the advantage. He could have pushed out. He could have done a lot of damage. You know, maybe he only needs half of these uh, Swarm hosts. The rest of them could have been Hydralisks a long time ago, and he could have been a lot more ballsy with it. However, now that Valetti is at 200-200 supply, he is going to be pushing out. He's got the detection. He's got the Swarm host. He's got the Fungal Gross. I mean, this is a hell of a powerful army. I just don't know if it's a powerful enough army to get underneath these Broodlords, because that's what's going to have to happen. Fungal Growth is great. It'll hold the Broodlords in place for those Hydralisks to wade forward. Uh, however, it's it's probably not going to be enough to let these small number of Hydralisks actually get there. And yeah, now the Broodlords are exposed. There goes the burrow from the, the Locust. Is there any detection at all? Yes, there is. Three Overseers pushing in. Oh my goodness, the Zergling's even trying to join in with the fray as my computer just <laughs> chugs to <laughs> keep up with this. And we can see that the supply is falling, falling, falling. Even though Ninja Duck Bob lost the majority of his ground forces, and I think the entirety of his ground forces, he still has a huge number of Corruptors and Broodlords. His bank is absolutely massive. Both banks are absolutely massive, so Validi will be able to resupply very, very quickly. He's getting his own Greater Spire out, so I would expect to see some Corruptors so they can actually regain control of the air. But, I mean, with this sheer amount of Corruptors already out for Ninja Duck Bob, he needs to press his advantage, continue forward as that last uh, uh, oh, Swarm host does go down. We can see only 12 of them are left. I wonder what we were at. We were at 200, 200 supply prior to that engagement. Now we're at 118 and Ninja Duck Bob at 174. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely brutal. Seven of the Mutalisks are still alive, but the Broodlords are beginning their doom push. Probably going to be wanting to poke up here at the gold base or is going to be going for the heart down here at the natural i'm not 100 percent sure regardless we can see that the swarm hosts are going to be poking down to the bottom side is he aware no neither player i believe is aware of the other one ninja's expansion that is absolutely fantastic and that's what we want we want this to be an absolutely huge macro game wow vipers great idea from valetti very very wise uh get the uh, yoink potential out there remember that the uh the new patch that they were talking about making so that the broodlords could not be yoinked uh, by the Vipers is no, not in effect currently. I don't know if it's ever going to go into effect, frankly, but that's another conversation for another day. Right now, you could steal these uh, Broodlords into the welcoming arms of all these Spore Crawlers. Handful of Hydralisks, not enough. Anti-air potential is going to have to be relying on the static defenses. Those Hydralisks do push forward and immediately just get absolutely ravaged. Speaking of ravaged, the Roaches have made, had their way with the gold expansion, but this is the actual fight right now. These Vipers do not have enough energy for their abduct just yet however they are sapping the life of the spore crawlers oh man and the corruptors pushing forward into the arms of the spore crawlers and all of them go down there's no anti-air left for the uh the brood lords at all being pushed forward the the uh abduct micro making it so that the spore crawlers can actually shell down some damage on the brood lords but man with so many brood lords these guys are going to be able to take care of every single one of these swarm hosts is there any detection yes yeah there's three 
uh, overseers currently in this, and Ninja Duck Bob realizes that he can just kind of pick apart with the superior range from these broodlords. Oh no, he's not spotting this spore crawler. The spore crawler with three kills already, and the mutalisks pushing forward, trying to distract the spore crawlers from the uh, broodlords. But no, Valetti realizes that there's nothing in the world that can stop these broodlords, and he taps out. What a massive bang for both players, but we can see that Valetti is very short on his gas right now, uh, and that's because he was pouring all of his gas into these vipers. The vipers just three vipers, not enough to abduct the 12 some broodlords that were shelling down damage on his base. Remember, his his uh, third at the gold was taken care of by these roaches, and at the same time, these broodlords were knocking on his front door. So a good tap out from Valetti. Really wise decision for Ninja Duck Bob to switch over to the Greater Spire. Get out the broodlords. I don't know how... Um, how you'd handle doing that at a higher league because like a master's player probably would have moved out before 200 200 supply from the swarm house and um you know valetti just waited too long is, is basically what i'm saying i think if valetti had pushed out earlier maybe at like 150 supply when he only had 10 swarm hosts and had more hydralisks he would have been able to handle the small number of mutalisks before these broodlords actually popped out. So Valetti had a very wise decision switching over to that swarm host and unfortunately just let victory slip through his grasps, which is awesome. I, I, this was a fantastic game, especially considering these two guys are on the same clan. So this was a great replay. If you have a replay you want me to cast, you can PM me here or...